How are you doing? How have you been? My name's Tazastical. We're back with RimWorld. Biotech, and we're living the dream, it has to be said. It's all going as smooth as a snake, just like slivering through the depths. At some point, you talk too much and you don't really know what's going to come out. What's the plan for today? So, we've got a plan to sort of move our cliffside base into fully operational, which would be quite nice. And we have plans for the bedrooms that we're sort of going to go into the cliff as we spoke to, uh, spoke about either last episode or the episode before. So, it's not going to be a full mountain base. We're going to try and make it look like we're these... It looks like we're going into like the mechanoid function, but we don't know. We're just going to see, see what tickles our pickle at the moment. And we're just going to go into the side bit and live in here, which could look really, really cool. And I like bases looking as different and interesting as possible, because I think that gives a nice flavour to every series not seeming the same. Other than that, we have Breaker that's got the flu. Uh, immunity 85, way away from the... What's that? 6% away from the flu, so should be okay. And Schaefer... I believe you have the flu as well? Yep. There we go, so 82... Oh yeah, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Right, medical emergencies because the flu is quite high, but that's absolutely fine, we don't need to panic. But then other than that, so with our genes, so is we made the Gladhorn Xenogerm, a mad animal, which gives low sleep so we don't have to sleep as much. Um, Optimist, which I can't remember if it's a plus four, plus six, or plus seven, eight, one of them. I'm pretty sure it's a plus six, but don't quote me on that. And we get purple skin, because why not? And a horn, because we're going to be purple unicorns. Now, originally we did joke about putting everyone on this, but the problem that that will have is, I believe their metabolism or their eating is going to be, what, what was it, a plus... 200 and something oh i lost the scroll 200 and something so as funny as that would be i feel like i feel like i'm growing in rimworld and i'm going to be more mature and do, do you know what i mean party people we've done all this messing about in past you know series and i can't keep letting you down it's time to make daddy proud and it's just time to grow as a rimworld player so we are going to give it to our leaders because i feel like our leaders are allowed to like indulge themselves in meals and stuff like that. I mean, no one else will agree, but we agree. Hot damn! So that is the plan going forward. Um, bedrooms aren't a mad priority just because everyone is still pretty happy with the setup we've got here. Like if we go into needs, the only negatives we're really getting, yes, they're ill. Is the disturbed sleep so we're not going to rush bedrooms too quickly because what i don't want is progress with research and stuff like that to be grinded to a halt yes research is currently stopped that's because okay we've already got the new recruit that is actually really nice all in our ideology so that's really really good um i can't actually remember what you were going to even bring to the table but i'm happy you're here plant cut grow why did I... I suppose, yeah, then we take Luof Construct. Because the thing is, you're not really... I'm going to take you off that, because then the idea here is Lou will then be able to hopefully make it down to hauling and cleaning. To be fair, I'll up your art. It's going to be a struggle for you to get to, but we'll see how that works. And then... Krayski? Krayski? I mean, it sounds good on paper. I'll be honest. I'll just wait for you lot to educate my dyslexic self in the comments. <laughs> oh, the dyslexic hits hard, party people. I struggled with it a long time. I need your help. Um, area 1. Yep, that's fine. And the only reason we're in Area 1, if you remember, is we have pollution up here, if I hit the right tab. And it doesn't look like it clears, so we're going to have to clear that, and we're going to have to be a little bit careful. It sounded like we were hunting, is that true? Yes, we're hunting some alpacas. I believe that's for better clothing, which is actually very, very good play. I know, I know. Other than that, I feel like what we'll do is we'll wait for everyone to get over the immunity. 
of the flu. And then Lou and Schaefer. I mean, Lou, we could start you now, right? If I go order this in Lou. So yeah, so a multiplier of 225. We're going to do it on only the important people in the colony. Just for a bit of flavor flav. So Lou, health-wise, medicine. Operation. Not ready for surgery. I wonder if this bed isn't ready yet. Isn't good enough. I go order this on Lou. Let me just read this again. Requires a medical bed. There is a medical bed. Just read. And for medicine. So I wonder if it went a bit funny because I didn't have medicine clicked before I did it. If I go rest till healed. Then who's our best doctor? Probably Kraysky. Operate. There we go. So coma on average of two days depending on, you know, the stuff that we have, which isn't great. I mean, this barely, barely is a medical room, let's be honest. Like, I don't know if there's a risk of death. I would like to think the game would tell me. But I suppose that's going to be... Hey, our first purple unicorn. So then if we go into bio, there we can see our light blue optimism plus six. I knew it, party people. I knew it. We've got glad horn up here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Does it tell us genes regrowing? What does that mean? Oh, interesting. So the material is regrowing. This process doesn't have any direct health effects. However, extracting their genes while they are regrowing will kill them. Interesting. So there we go. The xenogermification coma. I like that it tells you. I like that it tells you because I. it's like when your colonists um, give up and like go comatosis. That's never happened to me on the channel. So, you know. Bruh. Um, it doesn't really tell you, but I like that this tells you. So it was 2.2, so it's a little bit more than usual. So Lou is the first, you know, purple unicorn. It all, it all makes up. But it doesn't say anywhere about Lou needing more food. I suppose it does here. Hunger rate. Pl but yeah, so we'll just do these for the people. So if we go to our ideology, we'll just do it for the people. So it's only going to be the leader and the morale guide. Because that's all our religion is at the moment. If we do get a chance to... Can you help out with crafting? Not that there is anything to craft particularly at the moment anyway. Um, everyone is a bit bored probably means I should actually probably start allowing these. So we need 500 steel for both of them. I haven't gone insane and like just starting reading random numbers. So we need 500 steel. So we've got the components. We just need the steel. Where is the closest? There's another bit there we can mine to see where it goes. The problem is, is that would be incredibly awkward if it opened like a big section. Because then sappers are just going to have a field day in all honesty. Some components. Is that the closest steel? It does look like it. Right, so let's go times three. And let's start mining that, boys and girls. Uh, how are we doing for woods? Let's get some more woods. We're still in the semi-efficiency. You know, we're not going to go crazy with what we're hunting and stuff like that. We will also will get some herbal medicine. I'm saying that, we've got 35 in the bank, so to speak. How much wood are we ripping out? Just get enough so if we need to do stuff, then we're absolutely fine. And we do, don't really want people bored, which probably means we could jump into a research if we so wished. Problem is, is what would we go in? Fertility procedures. I mean, 
So now we have a male in the group. I mean, the females are going to get rather, rather randy, that's for sure. Like, I'm interested to see, like, is pregnancy just a thing that happens? Or... Or... or. Uh, wood is fine. How is fine? Uh, pause. Did either of these have a grow? So Beaker did have a 10 in grow. Yes, I remember now. So that means you can get started. On our Devil Strand. Now, normally I'd really prefer Devil Strand to be on some fertile grass. But unluckily where we are... I mean, there's that little section there. That little section... Big section there. Sadly, we ain't got any near us. And probably the one mistake I had was not checking this sooner. But that, that being said, would that have been a good space? It probably would have been. It probably would have been the more I thought about it. I mean, there's quite a lot of angles that the game could attack us. So, like, defensively, this was the better option. Like, that has a steam geyser that would have been, like, inside. Fertile grass. Maybe, maybe that would have been better. So, always make sure you check. I think that's the only problem with... I'm um, basically, I'm blaming it on recording. Are you serious? Because if you have a little bit more time, then, it, you know, there's no rush or anything like that. A lot of people are just getting bored constantly. Uh, machining table. Can we make anything? Has everyone got flak vests on? As I pause up. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Wow, look at us. We are good boys and girls. So, let's up another flak vest. Let's go in here. Do we want helmets? I think we'll go for simple helmets. I see no reason why not. They're not really going to be like the ultra protectors. But for 40 steel, like, it's like, it's nothing, is it? And then we probably want to think about... Getting some EMP grenades ready for when mechs eventually come at us. So we'll make sure we've got two because, you know, me party people, I always like two EMP grenades. Even though you shouldn't, you probably only need one. Uh, some gas, 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 gas masks. That was very posh of me. Um, do we want, and a smoke launcher. But just build that once. So we'll queue that up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have got some... If we not got any camel hide, we'll probably need to start then hunting more of them. Are we making this all out of cloth? We are. And then the dusters are out. The camel hide. Okay, so we probably want to see... Are there any more? Well, there's one alpaca there. That needs to be butchered. Apart from that, everything else is kushti. Okay, what I am going to... Mm, I was going to make another stockpile out here. Because what I normally like to do is outside is like stockpile raw materials. I suppose actually what I could do is copy the settings here. And expand the zone here. Paste the settings, okay? Delete that. So put the stone cutters table there. Reinstall. The art station there. It's going to be very far away from blocks though. This is probably going to have to be reinstalled in here. You'll see what you'll see the genius in a minute, party people. Don't worry, don't worry. Right, the art bench will have to go in here, but we are going to then make more room. Um, let's make sure I reinstall all these. While we're a bit bored, we can actually do a little bit of redesigning, and I have to admit. It's my favourite part of RimWorld where you're just like, oh, I could change this, I could change this. And then we're going to have a stockpile here. And then this is literally going to be all the resources we don't need to store inside. So we go raw resources. So basically anything that doesn't deteriorate, like building materials, jade, plastic, silver, steel, uranium, can then go outside. I can't remember. Oh, stone blocks. Yep, yep, yep. Then can come over here. Orders. Haul. Haul all them, please. And then that will get moved, rejigged. Um, Kratsky, you're really struggling with life in the colony. Ate raw food, slept on the ground. 
Okay, we don't actually have the beds to support you. I mean, I can just literally allow that as no, allow that as a bed. And then look. Look, look, it was like it never happened. Like I I forgot. I forgot. Bruh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just totally forgot like Hang on. Why um Oh no. Oh no. Everything is garbage. Why is everyone eating raw food? Why do you think everyone is eating raw food? Why? That is blasphemous! I cook. <laughs> uh. Uh. How do you do that? How do you do that? What the uh. hell is going on? I cook. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Let's just... Let's just pretend that never happened, okay? Look, Fox Knox! Fox Knox! I'll just put a cut in, no one will see. See? I put Fox Knox on the cooking! See? Tell me it was good. Tell me I'm good. Tell me I'm good. Tell me that was good. Tell me I'm good. I knew I put someone on cooking. So let's just make sure- look, Fox Knox, don't waste your time with that. Can we- look, can we just make sure we're making meals, please? Fox Knox. A lot of that was just for the viewers and whatnot. Like, I don't really blame you or anything like that. That was just like a a little incident. We'll just put that to the side and pretend that never happened, okay? Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so meals are being cooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were always getting cooked. Definitely. You are fake news. Right, so we avoided breakdowns because that's the main thing. We don't want to start having breakdowns and, you know, silly stuff. So the coma's about to end in uh, five five hours. So that's really, really cool. Really happy with that, to be honest. And you're beautiful. So you'll be a really good colonist. Like, put one of them implants in your head. We'll do the same with Shafar. This isn't for efficiency. This is just to make sure we're all, like, purple unicorns at this point. Is, do the end tables have to be adjacent? I can't actually remember. I think they have to be immediately adjacent, don't they? But we've got the bed down here, so that's fine. Is, you, is your mood better now? Yeah, awful bedroom. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, no argument, just yeah. Okay, back on the fine meals, which is more important, because fine meals are just... The best, really. There's no real reason to move off fine meals unless you are just got that much resources and free time anyway. Okay, here we go. We could actually have a fight. Psychic Harmonizer. Is that... That's exactly the thing I was talking about. God, the hacks. I don't even hide my hacks anymore. Are you serious? So, basically, you put this in someone's mind, and if they're in a good mood, they project that through people that go near them. If they're in a bad mood, they project that as well. People like Lou and Schaefer, people in our colony, are going to be so good for that. Or, you know, the leaders, Lou and Schaefer, like, depending how our religion develops, depends what else. But that could be perfect. Optimism and whatnot, you're generally going to be more happy anyway. Like... Lou breaking down is going to be harder. I mean, so Shafar. Let me have a look at this quickly. Low sleep. Get tired less quickly than others. Shafar already has quick sleeper, so this could actually be like pretty legit. But I love the positive moods. So, I don't. Yeah, um, we haven't even got it yet. It is a slightly big attack. So we've got five. Is it just the one group? Just the one group. Five. So I like the idea of that. It inspires in 5.6 days. So what we can actually do... Remember when we were going to build our high-tech research benches? Like this is when we get sidetracked. Still got to remember not to make too many tasks. But let's get the steel. 
let's get the components. That's the high research benches, hopefully done. If not, on their way to be done. Uh, there is a alpaca there I would like to be uh, hunted. Also need to take Foxnox off cooking. I mean, Foxnox did a good job. Um, where are the other alpacas? Now, I don't want to go a million miles. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way up there. What did that die of? We killed it and we just didn't haul it back. That's what it looks like. Right, the steel is... I suppose all the steel is being used on all these things that we um, queued up there, which mm, is sort of a bit... is what it is. I mean, I would like to get... Camel hide, I couldn't remember what it was called. I was going to call it alpaca hide. Yeah, I would like to get that on all our clothing to upgrade us until Devil Strand becomes available. I feel like that would be a really good thing because then that will pretty much be our best in spot and we'll be able to actually rock it. Hot damn! So I want... The plan is by the end of the episode, I want the high-tech research benches to be up. Which would be very, very nice. I'm going to install this statue in here. Try and offset some of the negatives that Kreisky is going to get in that room because I'd like to keep people as high as possible. We've still got a little bit of time for this quest. So what I would like to do is then upgrade this kill box a little bit more. Because then it would be very nice. One, we're going to have to expand this kill box uh, down the line anyway because we need to keep growing with the times. And attacks will keep getting bigger, so we have to grow with them, so to speak. So then what we can do is add another layer. Sandstone door there. Just so our colonists can move in and out a bit quicker. It can create issues with breaches and whatnot, but... as future Tazastical's problem. Concrete, so we make that fastest path. And then we'll do that. And the reason why I like the second bit up here is just so then we can... Uh, fix our traps without having to worry about anything. Security and this one might also be a very good chance. Oh, I need another spot. For some reason this kill box has a problem. If I like put a trap too close, like it has to be like two away. Otherwise, for whatever reason, it just doesn't like it. And it'll be another chance for us to get new recruits, stuff like that. So it'd be great if we can get all this sorted, sorted, sorted. Um, quests. Inspires in 4.4 days. So I would actually like to get the other Gladhorn on Schaefer. Yep, yep, yep. Confirm. Schaefer on the right medicine. Yep, yep, yep. So Schaefer come in that. And our best doctor is... Great ski can do it again. Pretty sure she's done the last one. There we go, there we go. Nothing's going to go wrong. We're going to have two purple unicorns in really, really good moods. And they look purple. You know, I mean, I mean, it's not only for the good moods. They then don't require, don't get as tired as quickly, which is also very, very good. But we'll just do that on the two leaders. And then we can try other things for the other people. Like, or... We'll try putting stuff on them that isn't so, like, food heavy, if that makes sense. Because the food um, multipliers are so high. We don't really want that on everyone. Although I haven't, while I haven't been keeping an eye out, I haven't noticed anything too crazy about how much Lou's been eating. But I haven't particularly been checking, unless I'm misunderstanding metabolism. Just says hunger rate times 225%. I'm not noticing it, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means I'm not paying attention. Which basically means I'm blind if anything else. I'm not blind. I'm amazing at this game. We all know that by now. Like, I've heard you say that 162 times. Do we have... Why have we not got the comms console up? That's a big misstep. Where are we going to put it? To be fair, we got the room inside here.
Yep, let's put it that. Orbital Trade Beacon. There. And there. There we go. Little, little upgrades. Little, little upgrades. Every episode we need to be like, Oh, you did that, Tazastico. Clever boy. You know, I want, I want you party people to look at me like a kid and you give me a cookie every time I do something good. Like... It's time to make Daddy proud. I think we can all agree that's that that's how we want this playthrough to go. I didn't check Schaefer. Okay, coma wearing off in 1.6 days. That's absolutely fine. I, I have to admit, I was a bit worried when I was thinking about our purple unicorn. I was hoping because they had the hat on that we could still see the horn. And, you know, that's, that's the thing that I worry about when I play RimWorld. Like, can I see the horn that's on their foreheads? If they're wearing a hat. Because if I can't, then my immersion's gone. My immersion's gone. Combat supplier. Okay. EMP grenades that are starting to be built. Where can we do that? The better. There we go. The kill box is going up. So that's really, really good. Wood is going down. Should I just check my cook isn't in the medical bay? <laughs> I know. Uh, who is our best talker? No one say me in the comments. <laughs> I, I can sense it. Uh, come and trade. What would you do if they were selling like EMP grenades? Cry a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so all the rubbish that we don't want. Get rid of that. Oh, they have another gene. This one's unstoppable. A small capsule containing a package. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I know, but... What is unstoppable? Carriers of this gene are not slowed down when taking damage. That's going to be... You know what? This changes the game so much. Take it. Oh, no. Well, we have to get it, don't we? So sell the go-go juice. Sell the ambrosia. Take that, because that's going to be banging on our melee people. We still got a little bit of coinage left over. Get rid of the other. Yeah, I was debating to get rid of the awful jacket and whatnot. Um, the flak vest, but it's fine. We do have a low shield pack. I mean, I could go sell that. Sell the awful vest, which then gives us money. Sell one of the ports. Get a low shield pack early on. That could be quite powerful. And then we've got another... Yeah, bank that. Because that's going to be brilliant for our melee people. Like, who is a melee person at the moment? You could be. I mean, you don't have anything great towards it, though. You Kreisky does have a double passion for melee. We could get the unstoppable. But I'd love to get someone in that's tough. As well as that, like... You'd be rocking it. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, we can strip them and change them and all that good stuff. Lou, I will trust you. Wait, Lou, are you a melee? Lou, can you equip the low shield pack? That's early protection in case we get hit by something that we're not ready for. We're a bit slow. We're sorting out the kill box, or we just make a mistake, sappers, you know, anything. Right, so that kill box is up. Let's wait for Schaefer to get out of bed. You're going to be in there for 1.1 day. We've still got three days to do this quest. I really want that psychic harmonizer. We're all about keeping morale high, keeping moods high. My mood's high. The party people's at home's mood, but moods, but I can't talk. I've embarrassed myself. Bruh. Not for the first time. I think like we've got an actual plan. We're like zooming. I just want to like keep saying as we're playing like zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the camels. Forgot about that quest. Which is quite funny because I've been looking at these camels thinking, why are they here? Can't remember what we got from this. What did we get for it? Oh, we got some goodwill with the Empire. Lovely. I'm going to always call them the Empire. Very Star Wars of me, I know. 
Okay, Trade Caravan is leaving. Thank you very much for your business. We need some more Steelio. How many miners have we got? Just the one. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. All right, I'm going to put Breaker on Art. And then Lou, if you are done with cooking, come and mine. So that Breaker's four mining, Lou is three. Um, yeah, so we'll put that back the way it was then. And then we'll have Breaker on two on mining, although I don't know how often you're going to get there. I mean, there's a lot of growing fields for just the one person. Breaker's just a man! There we go, so half a day you'll be out. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then you know who's the leaders in the group. Do you know what I mean? There's no messing about. Are you purple? Have you got a unicorn? Are you a unicorn? Have you got a uniform? Uniform? Unicorn? Pfft, I've lost it. Are you serious? Then the high tech research benches are priority. But I just wanted to make sure we had EMPs to fight any mechs and stuff like that. Because that's when like you're in... A bit of trouble in the game when you're not paying attention. You get a bit caught up with something, at least with me. You know, I'm not a pro um, RimWorld player. I know, I know, that's shocking to hear. That's shocking to hear. Everyone at home like, <gasps> I, I want to hope at least one person watching this when I said I'm not a professional RimWorld player, one person gasped. Do you know what I mean? Like, <gasps> <laughs> I know. I know. I agree. I'm pretty amazing. All right, we can probably stop this daily lark at some point. Mm, probably not. It's giving actually quite a lot of mood boosts. Or a lot of positives, I should say. Yeah, we do need to start working on the bedrooms. I mean, what's the artwork at? Beauty 68. Did him with that. Right, another EMP is going to be completed. So two EMP grenades should be absolutely fine. We will then start... Right. So go into the machining table. Turn that off. I would like to go furniture. Oh, but -oh, but -oh, but -oh. Wooden shelf. In... Where, do I... Where would I like it? I'll put it here for the time being. I really couldn't decide. I'll put another shelf. Not in front of the door. What a silly sausage. Just so we can have weapons on shelves. I find it so much easier in the thrusts of battle. Just being able to like quickly find where everything is. Some of these statues can be moved. That can be moved there to actually make room for more shelving. There we go. So this shelf here. Clear all... Weapons, grenades, EMPs, this is critical. Lovely, lovely. And then the other one will be, like, I definitely want the smoke launcher. So we'll do an incendiary launcher, because you know me, party people, I do love incendiary launcher. Hot damn! But then we'll put the other smoke launcher on the other shelf as well. Just so then, if anything happens, we know where they are. We can quickly grab them. It's no bother. Have we got any more alpacas or anything? We do, or any of them. Right far away. Royal Tribute Collector. Really far out of the way. I don't really want to be running all the way up there, in all honesty. Still, we're not stealing components. We're sort of losing them as we're getting them. Sort of is what it is, but doesn't seem like progress, but getting the EMPs, getting the smoke launchers, I think we all agree that's going to be positive. Getting that wrapped up early so we don't have to worry about it later. The colonists have the helmets they desire. Perfect. That pointless sculpture there. So we do need another gene bank. Remind me what resources we needed to build that. 
50 steel. I love that it shows you when you're doing this now. Sorry, I was just looking at the links too. Um, yeah, we do need another one, but I don't want to build it yet. I really would like to get the high Rita, Rita tech benches up. <gasps> what? Uh, one day I'll be able to talk properly and then we'll be game on. How long are you going to be on this smoke launcher? I just want you to stop using resources. Component-wise, we're keeping up. It's just the steel. Chances are when we start going into the mountain, we'll find loads, but... Other than that pocket of steel that we're going for now... Conversation is for where next there. It's an easy deep destruction. Sadly, it looks like up here. We need 500 still. 2, 3, 4 in the stockpile. Not terrible, but... Hardly anything to shout home about. Quest expires in 17 hours. That's the one. So we'll do this for the Psychic Harmonizer. And we get some gold, so that's not too, too bad. So, uh, if we accept the Wasters, will arrive... I always feel like wasters is an insult. And then we'll pull all our colonists inside. We do actually have the Empire outside that... I don't know if they're going to hang around for that long, but if they do, then... <laughs> no, yeah, they, they know what's going on there. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! Fair enough, fair enough. Understandable. What I probably should do in anticipation is get a couple of beds up just in case we get some prisoners it would be nice to have the beds ready to go and we can make this a makeshift prison and then if we have to improve it then and there group of travelers want 21 herbal medicine uh where are they we will give it to them although they probably might die no, I got 15 hours. We probably will give it to them. That's fine. We're nice people. There we go. We'll turn this into the prison. If it does go into a prison, then we'll work on making it a bit prettier. But we'll probably just stack the beds like here. Which we could do anyway, in all honesty. Volcanic winter? Hyperweave? I mean, okay. Another low shield pack. We've already got one. Psychic smooth pulsar? I don't think we need to accept a Volcanic Winter for them rewards. They don't give us anything that I think, ooh, ooh, that's tasty. It's more like, eh, who put pickle in my sandwich? Is it Lou that's the social? Yeah, but, uh, yep, give the 21 herbal medicine. Absolutely fine. We're friendly people. Get out of here. For the zones, can I just make sure? Loud zone sure all this is actually allowed. Oh. Everyone is in there. Getting bored. So, if we're bored, it's probably... Because we've got a little bit of downtime. Let's mine out the bedrooms. Because we might find steel at the same time, which is two birds, one stone. There's no point people being bored whatsoever. Can I just make sure this isn't a gathering spot? It's not. Add dog. Can we teach it to haul, please? Should have done that a lot quicker. Cognis idle fox knocks. Yeah, um really too much I can do about that. Uh, then I want this storage critical as well, please. Just to make sure that, yeah, that smoke launcher gets brought over here. So if we need these, we can find them straight away. No messing about. And how long until this they attack? 
two hours. Just, I was just reading just to make sure there wasn't like a grenade that was going to come in and just like ruin my colony, which I'm not saying I would cry, but I'm saying I would cry. I think we can do this. Of course we can do this. The golden god! Yes! Come on. Easy, easy. I see him just coming up. Easy, ass. It's fine. Are they attacking immediately? They will prepare for a while. We're going to do this. Don't even worry about it. Then you see the kill box will work fine. It'll be perfect. We're getting bored. Yep, I thought that. The zone that I even allowed him in just doesn't allow him to do that because I'm a silly goose. Gooses are the silliest of animals. If you don't know that, you're a silly goose. Right, they're beginning to attack. We shouldn't have to do anything. It should just be on display how good our kill box is. How basic it is. Um, how many are there, actually? Eight, nine. They actually probably will make their way through, thinking about it. Not everyone actually has weapons. Don't. Uh, grab you three. The wooden traps, I'm thinking like steel traps, the wooden traps aren't going to kill him one hit. Just watching this up in the corner. Do a lot of damage. So, with that being said, where can we get cover? Cover 50%. Maybe I can get cover there. Did the crops give us cover? That was probably a city thing, but I didn't know if it was like... Yeah, maybe that was a city thing. <laughs> like, did the blocks on the floor give us cover? No. A fox can go there. I'll try to put Schaefer there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shoot there, though. Here we go. So we've got a few people coming in. I suppose we should grab the others because they need to just punch people. Okay, luckily we can shoot from there. Yeah, they do have some guns and whatnot. I'm hoping Lou... Well, I mean, we've got a shield pack if we need it. I'd prefer not to use it now. So, like, Lou can then get in. Melee there. That's fine. Right, we're going to have some injuries, but... It should take the army loss penalty. Fairly quickly. Lou will go down. But she's a purple unicorn and an optimist. She'll be fine about it. Right, you two. There we go. Army loss. Okay, so we've got some people that are maimed down in here. But the priority, first of all, is probably to set this as a medical bay. How long until Lou's going to die? Six hours. Who's our best doctor? Schaefer. And who's our other doctor? Crazily. Need to make sure Crazily then is carrying medicine. Schaefer can then come over here. Intent. And Fur Fox, that's fine. I would have liked... There are some more guns that have been dropped. That's perfect. So, yeah, that's the kill box. Vindication! What's that dependency? Ah, uh, that person is... Okay, so you need a certain drug. Are these all wasters, are they? Remind me what wasters is. This looks like it gives ugly to everyone. Steadfast isn't terrible. I mean, none of these colonists I really love, I'll be honest. Okay, more importantly, we need to grab the range stuff. Um, 
I think we'll go with the bolt action rifles. Let me just check the damage on them because I can't actually. Oh, that's bio coded anyway, so there's no even point. So equip the revolver, that's fine. And Schaefer can then medically treat you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Is it worth stripping these? No, none of them have armor on or anything like that, so that's fine. Draft you. Undraft you. They'll destroy that door, but I'm okay with it. Lou, are you okay? You're back on your feet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sorted. Or oh, something I always forget to do is where is the button? This button down here in the bottom right hand corner. Toggle automatic rebuild of destroyed structures. Now, I know I'm teaching people to suck lemons, but just in case you missed it, there you go. You click that, and next time that door gets destroyed, the plans to build a new one will automatically be there. And that's for anything. So, yeah, very, very nice button. Pods arrived. There we go. Psychic harmonizer. Probably shouldn't put that in loo yet. Kind. Quick sleeper. I will be giving it to Lou. Get intense pain, but let's just wait. Now, that wasn't our finest moment, I'll be honest, but probably not going to be our worst. Oh, why are you drafted? I love how I'm staring at you. You're drafted, like... Bruh. Right, area 1 for everyone. Area 1 literally just doesn't allow us in this pollution up here. That's it. Are there... Oh, there are tree. A f... Which wood tree? A small toxin adapted tree with a twisted trunk. It can only grow on polluted terrain when harvested. Yields a meager amount of wood. Oh, interesting. It's the first time I've really, like, seen them. Okay, so we gave some of our medicine away. I still got 21 herbal, so it's not too worry. Right, high tech research benches must be priority now, right? So let's cancel the mine orders here. Although there could be steel here, you never know. The priority is to get the steel we know. So we need about 250 worth of steel and then. What was it? Was it 10 components each for those? Yeah, so we've got the components. That's fine. That's in the bag. 250 more steel. And then we can actually get them sorted, which would be great. Once Lou gets out of this, this sulk. Because, you know, not like we did anything wrong. Like, 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 it was all perfect. And if you say otherwise... You are fake news. And make this a little bit bigger. Not that it matters too much. Turn this into the medical bay. Probably should have done that earlier. We need to worry about getting our medical bay up. Then repair the traps. We do need wood for the traps. Any trees inside? Because are still being efficient it's going crazy normally like back in the day it's like cut all them cut all them and then it's like 10 episodes of me complaining why is nothing i set getting done Just making sure i didn't unclick uh, to do that mining uh, how much wood do these need 45 okay that should be more than enough would also like to put a sandstone or here. I'll put one here as well. Just more protection against sappers and whatnot. Just gives us time, if nothing else. Because like, I probably, down the line, will then put another wall up here. Yeah, and then if a breacher comes in, it just gives us a chance to react. Yeah, Lou is not happy. Recreation unfulfilled. <gasps> How dare you! You were meant to be the chosen one. I mean, I do agree, but I do agree, but words can hurt. Beauty is one. I built out of steel, no beauty. We've got the marble, so we might as well make it. So, marble poker table. 
we'll put there. We'll get rid of this growing zone. So we are then going to reinstall the statues in here just to make sure this room stays beautiful. Otherwise, that will cause us major problems if our garrison suddenly becomes ugly. We have got plans to start making bedrooms. It's just going to be a slow burner. I would like to get the high-tech high research benches up first. And then we'll go full into getting the bedroom sorted with research being done on the side and stuff like this. We've got plans. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got plans. We know how to flourish and flourish we shall. And I mean, the Devil's Strand is going to take absolutely years, but at least it's on the way. Right, there we go. So wood is coming. Steel is slow, but it's always going to be. Problem is, we'll collect all this steel, we'll mine one little bit down, and then we'll find loads of steel, but... We need to address the recreation thing. If you're complaining about it, other people. Oh, Century Mechanites on Breaker. Not great. Great. How much work is needed? Forget the marble stuff does require a lot more. Why are you sleeping on the flu? If Lou's in that bed, Lou should be like, Right, Crazily, you can borrow my bed. Like, draft, undraft. Don't sleep on the floor. I didn't want you to get back to work. I appreciate the grinds. Left leg destroyed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bruh. Uh, is that a good trader? Is that from the comms console? <laughs> Lose. Oh, Schaefer, you actually have really good social. Have you got a bionic leg by any chance? Just ask him for a friend. Super immune. Oh, they got a bionic arm. Imagine, imagine. To be fair, we would probably would have struggled to make the money for it, in all honesty. Still would have been absolutely hilarious. So, we're going down the genes thing. So we have Psychic Doll plus two. So let me click on this to see what it is. So Dead Calm. They will never start social fights or have aggressive mental breaks. Okay. Sounds like you can counter a lot of people's personal stuff if you wanted to really, really mid-max. Pale yellow skin and psychically dull. Okay. I mean, it's okay. Okay, I don't think it's... Super immune I do like. I do like super immune. Let's just click on it to make sure it is what it is. Carriers of the gene gain immunity to diseases considerably faster than normal. But then you have to ask yourself, do we really need that? And I don't think we do. Gene pack ageless plus one. Why is that in a different color? It's a lot more money. So but let's have a look at it quickly. Ageless. Oh, wow. So it stops aging on people altogether. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right, so we're selling that. What can you do for us is the question. I would like to take, I guess, as many components as we can muster, which isn't going to be a great deal in all honesty. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure I'm buying them. I'm getting far too carried away. I'm like, yeah, I'll have them all. We ain't actually got any money for any of this. Okay. I think I'm happy on the projectile that we're actually on, so that's absolutely fine. Heat wave. Negative. I'll just get some of these passive coolers in here. Ah, oh, that's the freezer, so that's going to be fine.
Okay, there we go. Just stalling us, but if... Remember when I said I wanted to get the high retail? retail. I think that's just like... I just can't say words. Bruh. I'm embarrassing myself, like... Oh, do you know what I mean? Like, you try and say a word. It's like, the problem is, is I go on, like... I try and, like, set the scene for you, party people. I'm trying to, like... Right, and... It was a dusty night. And everything was beautiful. And then I can't even talk. It's like if I read an audio book and couldn't talk. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Excuse my mini breakdown. Like food wise is fine, meals aren't really being cooked, but that's because Lou is currently legless. No, she's not drunk, she has one leg. And we're not even putting a peg leg on her. Probably should put a peg leg on her, shouldn't we? Left leg, operations. And just to let you party people know, this won't be the first time someone loses their leg. Alright, make sure we install peg leg on the left side. That has never happened to me, ever, putting like the peg leg on the other leg. Okay, just, just, just saying it now, I have never, ever done that. Are you serious? So, Lou, operations, peg leg left, left. So, rest till healed. Because, just to put that in perspective, so Lou's current Mobility should be at 50%. Schaefer will then operate on Lou. Use good medicine, just so then no accidents or anything like that happens. Rare Fun Bros, okay. Then they should go off without a problem. Lou has lost her head. Imagine. There we go, that's all fine. And then once Lou comes out of this, a uh, sedated one day, I'm sure it didn't used to be able to tell you what how long. I could be wrong. Provisional Labrador wants one colonist. 13. Oh, I love how it actually determines that, so you can't just send the kids off, I suppose. Do we want to do that? For seven days. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Right, and then Lou, are you... No, we'll wait until the woozy's gone and then we'll be able to see what the 50% went up to. Got a little bit more wreck. Are we still all liking the garrison? Confusion, Lou. That's because of the anaesthetic, though. Glad we haven't installed that psychic thing on you. We'll probably do that on Schaefer now. Eight raw foods. That's fine, because now Lou's back in the game. Bruh. Not having a breakdown or anything. Are you serious? Right, there we go. So cooking's getting done. Yeah, it'd be handy when our Labrador can actually haul and whatnot. That would be quite quite good. Uh, we will need to cut down some more trees for our traps. So we'll just do the ones that are closest. We've got mad guinea pigs. But just the one going to wildlife. Well, there's quite a few. So probably a bit too many for us to deal with so no problems and that's why we have the doors here and we just close the doors so come in here close the doors there we go and everyone's in the inside zone so then we don't have to deal with it. it's a bit too many for us doesn't sound it sounds a bit silly but they'll probably overwhelm us and take people down which in all honesty I don't want to lose because of guinea pigs I feel like I feel like that wouldn't be the best thing. Ritual. A ritual room. Oh, that's for like our Christmas tree. It spies in nine days. Okay. What do we need to build our Christmas tree? Seventy words. I feel like placing it outside would be quite cool. Okay, the guinea pigs are on the warpath. Hard to blame them. While we're locked inside because of the man hunting guinea pigs. I mean, it doesn't sound very threatening when you say it like that, I'll be honest. We can continue with our mining tasks. And then actually sort out some bedrooms. And we'll get some blocks here, so at least then we can build some resources. 
I mean, I'll be honest, I wanted more mining done than just a couple of blocks, but beggars can't be choosers, apparently. We are both beggars and choosers, so... A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Right, this needs to come out of Medical Bay. Lou can come in here. That's absolutely fine. Doctor Wise. So, Schaefer. So, I can carbonize that. So, Schaefer, you're our MVP. So, Operations. Install Psychic Harmonizer. And come in here. And that means Crazily. Then can you install that on Schaefer's brain? And I mean, let's be honest. What could go wrong? I'm just casually installing something into someone's brain. Like, what could happen? Happen. Nothing. God damn. That's what we want. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's in. So if Schaefer is in a good mood, that is projected to nearby colonists. If Schaefer is in a bad mood, that is projected to nearby colonists. However, because we have the purple unicorn ability, that is what we're calling it because it sounds badass. You're an optimist, so permanent mood boost of plus six. So we're going to have to be really painfully bad to make you break down. Which probably is going to happen at some point. <laughs> like, there's no point lying at this time. Like, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Like, I mean, it, it could be worse. But yeah, we get the bedroom sorted. The high tech re research benches. I'm never going to be able to say that word in any fast. I'm going to have to talk high tech research benches. Oh, they said it couldn't be done, and I said it. I said it, party people. See, I do make you proud. If you got to this point in the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.